Now we're going to make a calendar report so we can visualize these vacation requests in a better way. List reports is not the best way to kind of see how many people are out on a certain day and what the month or week looks like. So in this case, we're going to go into edit this application and we're going to click on the plus icon in the top left corner. And this time we're going to be making a new report. And here we can see a list of all the different report types that we offer. And we're going to select calendar. It's going to be based on the vacation request form that we created. And you can see here the options are dynamically generated based on the form you're creating. Event title is just going to be what shows up in the calendar as the heading of the event. So generally you want to see which employee is requesting the time off. Starts and ends naturally is going to be the start date and the end date. And we can name this our vacation calendar. Now the calendar is created and we can pop into report properties pretty similar to what we saw for list report properties. We have the configuration we just did. We can do some event formatting in terms of highlighting certain events, a certain color based on some level of criteria like we did for available vacation days. And then some options down here for additional configuration. The default view we want is a month view. That makes sense. It week starts on a Sunday naturally. And then here is an interesting one, default date. So by default, it's going to be a relative. It's going to relatively means it's going to show whatever month you're in. Right now it's October, next month on November. It'll always show the current month whenever you load this report. Sometimes you might want to make it static and say, I only want to see November report. So maybe we'll rename this calendar to my November vacation calendar, and it would always show November, even if it's December, January, whenever, it'll show me November of a certain year, that month by default. Most people leave it as relative, but you can pick absolute if that's what you want. Additionally, there's filters just like we had before, where we can say we only want to see cal calendar events for certain types of sales reps, um, or certain types of employees account accounting or customer service or whatever and also quick filters if we want to filter out based on types i probably do want to create a quick filter based on um i guess maybe the employees um and see if each individual employee maybe we'll do it that way click add and i'll click done here there are also quick view and detail view options in this case i'm just going to leave it as it is everything default so you see what it looks like and then we'll make some changes afterwards so here I can scroll down and see that I've got three events created here, two by Creed Bratton, and this blank one is the one that belonged to Alvin in the beginning that um, before we replaced the employee one. So in this case, we don't really need it. I will just go ahead and delete this record and get rid of it. And so now I can even take one of these and move it around and make a change to something. It's really good for like project management tasks or if you're just moving something from one day to another, super helpful. In this case, you probably don't want to let people move these kinds of calendar events around um, because you're changing a vacation request for somebody else, but an employee can go in and do something for themselves. And so if we want to add a new vacation request, I can click on the plus icon. It'll take me back into the form. Let's say this time Andy is requesting time off and it's going to be on Wednesday to Friday three days long, click submit. Now Andy's name is going to show up there and create is below. So it's a very simple way of visualizing it. There's also a week view. If you want to see this week was empty, next week is when Andy is out. So you can see everybody week by week if you wanted to. Um, and then a day view. Day view is not super helpful here because these are full day events. If you wanted to get into more granular like event scheduling or appointment scheduling, you would see days and you could set a time as well. We just picked a date field when we created this form. And so it's just full dates rather than a date and a time associated with it. But that's the short and simple of pretty much a calendar report. There isn't too much else here. Um, there's a timeline report, not really helpful here. Spreadsheet, Kanban, same stuff we saw in previous videos. If I go back to edit this application, I can indeed change the detail view though. What happens when you click on a record? And again, by default, it's just gonna show me the employee vacation start and end date and the days off, but I can create this custom block version. And now I'll see the overview of the vacation request, as well as all the details of the employee. If I wanna add a related block, I can do so, um, but there's nothing else related to vacation requests. Only employees is related to it. So that's why nothing else is showing there. And if I want to tweak things, then that's pretty much it. Access this application. And now when I click on, let's say, Andy's vacation request, it'll show me information about that as well as employees.
Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the list report video that I'll touch on here real quick is if we go back into edit this application and we go to our detail view and we make a change to it, this employee field is actually a lookup to the employee record, right? And so I can actually link it and create a hyperlink. So whenever that employee's name is clicked, we'll be able to dry, drill a little bit deeper into it if I didn't have this related block. So let's actually go back to this default setting here, make sure that this employee field is linked and click X, access this application. And now when I click on Creed, it'll show me not the employee or vacation information and employee information below, but just the vacation information. But here we can see Creed, Creed is now green. So if I click on Creed, it'll show me all the information about Creed. And so it'll hyperlink between any kind of related record we want. And we can do that however many times you want to. If we want to link to the branch here, we could create a hyperlink there. If we want to hyperlink into um, the employee, we can do so as well. So links are also a very helpful way to navigate related records in an application. But calendar reports are quick, easy to configure, but super helpful because you can visualize things the way you want to. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.